Hello, and welcome back to New York Gold. Today, I'm going to do a fish room update because I need to. This is how I keep track of my stuff. So this is uh, December 2020. And this is... I still have these blue angels, the little fry. They're still fried because they won't grow because I have too many. I just keep trying to get these numbers down and I don't know it'll it'll work out but this is uh I still got a bunch of these guys this is the community tank there are duplicarious cats in here that you can't see there's greens green quarries and blue spotted quarries in there these are cardinals and they all live in the same community tank Right next to those guys is the are the black sword tails. Black swords. We just did a video on these, but they uh, they were born about three weeks ago, maybe a month ago. I just let them out, and there's probably about 50. And I got them in a 15 gallon, and uh, yeah, I'm starting to really like these guys. They're breeding up nice. It's gonna be fun. Here's the male right there. Yep. All right, above the community tank, this is a 40 breeder, and I've been breeding these angels. I have koi angels and blue angels in here, and I've been, uh, these are what are my potential future breeders, the ones that I kept, and uh, hopefully, well, I think these were the best of what I had, so I kept, I hung on to them. I think I have six of each, and then uh, there's one big, huge, Koi Angel and then that's the original father of all of these. And, uh, yeah, down on the bottom, I send right there. Next to these guys are two 10 gallon tanks. The first 10 has these super cross guppies. I've had these for oh, probably two years now. But they're still going. They keep they don't look so hot because I don't have this tank heated, so it's probably in the high 60s and they don't like it and right next to it's another 10 gallon tank these were the blue deltas but one of the female supercross ended up in here somehow and tainted my batch so i've been calling them super deltas because they were getting mockings that they shouldn't have on them so uh, what are you gonna do now they're like super mutts right across this is like a 20 i don't know a 23 gallon bow it's a little bit bigger than a 20 gallon tank it's a bow front this is the hardest tank to film because of that curved glass it's always shooting reflections but i have some i'm growing out some of the blue angels in here and i have about i think it's 11 penguin tetras in there next to that is a 45 high i just did an update on these goldfish but i have i'm calling these gold just gold angelfish now because they were they were both parents were pearl scales but i don't none of the fry got the pearl scale pattern so i just have to call them i guess gold angels and uh, i think i saved seven of these only because there was seven really nice ones so i didn't want to not keep the, an extra one I usually keep six but seven in that case and this is the 90 gallon this is my main tank I guess where I keep all my big goldies there's a butterfly and a ryukin the ryukin this tank is filtered with a, a 5 gallon pail it's been up for a long time this is from the beginning what happened it froze uh, gold dust bollies I did a big thing on these guys I didn't really record that much of them little gold fish growing out with them. White clouds. I ended up with so many. I started with like under a dozen. I think I had six. And I started breeding them and now, oh, I don't know, a couple hundred, maybe 300. And uh, you know, I got them in a 40 breeder. And I just do this all day. Court and breed and eat and poop. It's, uh, it's a fun tank to watch. I wish I had them on the floor. I lay on the floor and watch this tank. It's a lot of fun. This is uh, just fun fish. 
with the little bugger set. And, uh, let's see if I got it. See the one on the top, right? It's a female. And you look at her vest. She's been ready to blow eggs out right now. So she's uh, she's doing it. These are the similar shell dwellers. Ah, I've had these for months already, and the tank's just getting fungus, but I've been keep cleaning it out. They're doing fine. They're not breeding, but everybody's still alive. I have all eight of the guys that I got, and that's all i got to say about that. See you guys later.